Let's start with question number 13. The question says that an astronomical telescope will have large angular magnification and high angular resolution when? And these are the four options, small focal length and large diameter, large focal length, small diameter, small focal length, small diameter, large focal length and large diameter. Let's start with the solution. For angular magnification, The formula would be focal length of objective by focal length of eyepiece, right? So in order to keep angular magnification high, the focal length of objective should be very large, right? Let's see what is the formula for angular resolution. The formula for angular resolution is D, that is diameter of lens, divided by 1.22 lambda. Lambda is the wavelength of light which is being used. So again, in order to keep resolution higher, D, diameter should be large. So we have to choose an option which is having large focal length and large diameter, right? Let's see. So the fourth option that is large focal length and large diameter will be the correct answer. So what is the answer for this question is option number 4, right? Let's move forward to the next question. Let's start question number 14. What the question says is, unpolarized light is incident from air on a plane surface of material of refractive index mu, right? At a particular angle of incidence I, and it is found that the reflected and the refracted rays are perpendicular to each other. That means they are polarized. So which of the following condition is correct? As per Booster's law, non-polarized light falls on a material and its components of reflected and refracted rays are perpendicular to each other. In that case, the reflected ray is polarized, but the electric field vector is perpendicular to plane of incidence, right? So let's see first option that reflected ray is polarized with its electric vector parallel to. So this is wrong, right? Let's see the second one. Reflected light is polarized with its electric vector perpendicular to plane of incidence, right? Let's see these two. Since the Brewster's law says that mu is equals to tan i, right? So I can write i is equals to tan inverse of mu. Neither third, neither fourth satisfies the equation. That means the final answer should be answer 2. Right? Let's move forward to next question.